Diagonal elevator. I was wondering when we were going to start seeing elevators, actually. So, A's got to stop here and then... Ooh, wow. Two roads. This little wood structure is going to move from its current pot part to here to here. And it doesn't look like there's a hydraulic controller. So, it's simply... It goes over, then it comes back. Basically, it's the combination of these two poles, right? We pull this up to here and then this over. So, then we just have to kind of support these. Let's just see if this would work. Okay, that's because it's not strong enough. Duh. Really? It didn't it didn't lock? It just swings too much and then it doesn't lock into place. You would think that would perfectly perfectly connect. Alright, let's 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 go on, on a different design than right now. Alright, so it seems to want to bring itself over first, and then the car gets bumped back, and then it falls down. So, that kind of sucks for me. I need a new idea. Well, that's under budget. Let's see if it holds up. So, I'm hoping... Why do you keep detaching on me? I'm hoping that... Well, we should also check this. <laughs> I'm hoping that because I have two hydraulics, it'll be a lot more stable. But it turns out what it actually is is weaker. Oh, and I didn't do the thing. No, this isn't cheaper, because I didn't do the thing. This is a bit less calculated. Oh, but maybe this is a step in the right direction. Okay. Basically, I want this pull high enough so the wood ends up horizontal. This is actually a good way to do the elevator. But it's still not high enough, and this is falling back anyways. Joints seem less forgiving. Yeah, a little bit. Try a different area of counter right weight. Right, well, it's got to go this way, so we can try that. Holy shit, it does connect. Man, this is the weirdest fucking design. It doesn't even work here because it doesn't connect anyways. God damn it. I don't know if we can have a counterweight because it's not going to connect coming back down. Do I feel like Polybridge 2 is easier? I don't know. I, I think the levels so far have been mostly easier, but uh, I guess I'm struggling with this. And The only way to have this not be swinging is by having this have like two hydraulics or something like this. But this is so expensive. This is really over budget. I just want to see if the concept is there. If I get the right numbers on the hydraulics, hopefully we'll get to a point where it will actually work. Why doesn't the joints show? That's a great question. I would actually like to see it so I could, so I could calibrate. Like I, I, it might. I think it's a little up and to the right, so I'm gonna lower it this way, maybe. Just put something so I can see the joint. Will that actually? I guess it could work. Okay, this needs to not contract as much. Let's do that. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of this level either. I mean, it's just less forgiven than the first game. I think that's all it is. I mean, obviously, I'm trying... Hold! Oh my god, finally! Wow, so it took a little bit of extra bracing. Let's take a look at everything that happened here. There is a lot that went down. So it took the extra bracing. It took actually three hydraulics. All right, so the stabilizing hydraulics were the way I saw to do it. I had no idea how else to do it, to be honest. I genuinely had no other idea, but stabilizing hydraulics were an idea I had in mind. I just shied away because I thought I would always be too broke for it, actually. I never thought I'd have the money for it. But I guess with shaving other things, we could find the money for it. And I guess I should have just considered that. I kind of want to look at what other people did. Um, just, just so I can feel even worse about myself. Oh, I like what he did there. That's clever. Barely makes it, but I really do like that. He's got the stabilizing stuff underneath. So I did have a stabilizing thing, like he had that, but mine was higher up, so it was more expensive. Yeah, so he had two little wood things like this. Yeah, all right, well done. I'm glad I don't have to deal with that anymore. That is my worst type of bridge. I'm just unfortunately bad at it, and I, I don't know if I'm ever going to get better at it. Hopefully one day, but I haven't so shown signs of improvement. Actually, I, I, okay. This kind of bridge I'm decent at, though. This is simple. This is just an underbelly support. This is going to be way easier than what we had before. I'm going to just hope this is enough. I bet it's not, but I'm just going to hope it's enough. Yeah, it's already pretty stressed. This isn't going to make it. Se 71 over here. And this thing weighs how much now? Well, that was fun. 
I think we're just gonna do some sort of arch underneath. Arches are strong. Let's get this down. Also gonna be steel. And then we can actually brace it with this, and then we can do all this crazy stuff like so. All right, already we've got to a much better start. It's probably still not, not gonna hold up this thing, but it's way better. Strangely enough, the most stressed thing is actually this, which can easily be replaced by a muscle. So I think we'll actually go for that. A one on both sides. Yeah, you know, I was actually really shocked at how many people were kind of hating on Eunice um, in, in some of my Poly Bridge videos. Obviously, I didn't intend to paint him in a bad light. And I've even said, like, he's good at the game. He just, you know, exploits glitches, but he's still good at the game. I think people need to stop bandwagoning against them, for sure. Oh, hold that thought. Is it gonna work, this little road? Oh, that's just good. That's just good. That being said, I'm not gonna put too much in effort into getting people to stop disliking him. If he actually wants people to stop disliking him, he should definitely do that himself. This was nice though, top 20% out of nowhere. A 99.1% stress, like it got up there. Oh, is this supposed to be a loop? Oh yeah, it's got the, the hashtag next to the A1, so we gotta hit this, then this. Let's do a loop. Eh, this should be fun, hold on, wait, let's see if we can do a pre-made loop. <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna work. <laughs> this looks stupid. It looks like Squidward when he starts like wiggling out his arms when he's doing that like disco workout or whatever. Yeah, they really do give you a lot of money. What is the deal with that? They just expect me to suck or what? Maybe they just wanted you to focus on having fun rather than just having something optimized. And this is one of those fun levels. I mean, this is a, a loop-de-loop is about as fun as it gets. Uh, save for a couple things. Springs are pretty fun, not gonna lie. But this is like up there in enjoyment, so if the game wants us to dick around, we will just do that. 100k because it was too hard for devs. Devs are pretty good at this game, actually. Uh, devs do very much play their own game. I mean, if you've seen uh, any of Bolt's solutions, Bolt's one of the devs, and he uh very strong at this game. Uh, this is not my cleanest loop ever, but it doesn't look horrible. Remember like my first ever loop where I had this weird combination of steel and wood, and it just looked dog shit? It was super ugly, but this this actually looks kind of fine. Looks like a roller coaster with a little bit of extra supports. Oh, the landing kind of sucks. This needs to, or the jump kind of sucks. It, it doesn't line up. I see now. This should hopefully line it up? Or is it still gonna hit the roof, do you think? Ooh, we broke a piece. Ooh, it still works, but we did in fact break a piece. Oh, whoops, I should have sent it. That's fine. We're gonna actually just something real simple like this. There we go. Hope you didn't blink. Here, I'll do it again. Don't blink this time. All right, this level's nice. A nice relaxing level after some of the pain that we've gone through in the other levels. So we're at 52%. All right, on to the next one. Okay, so this is 316, the final level of the third world. So this guy's gotta go up and over, basically, and these guys just go across. So what's gonna happen is that these two are gonna drive to their goal, and this guy's going to... The monster truck's supposed to drive over these cars. I'm like, what does it want me to do? But that sounds pretty fun, let's do that. So the cars are parked, and they're pretty short, and the monster trucks just gotta go over them. I, I was really excited because I'm like, it actually kind of makes sense to do springs here, but then the more I think about it, it's like, eh, I don't know. I don't feel great about the whole spring thing. I, I wish I did. It's not me being a little bitch. It just, just doesn't seem like it's working out. So I do think we probably need reinforced roads. If the monster truck is to actually drive over these cars, let's be real, reinforced roads, probably makes sense because the truck's gonna be putting a lot of pressure onto these cars and there's gonna be a lot of pressure onto these roads so it, it might be kind of tough without that so let's see let's see if just this simple design works can we get the truck to drive over the drive over these short cars <gasps> wow that just works wow well fuck those guys <laughs> <laughs> what a cool level, actually. I like that. Do we even break 50%? That was super low. Okay, we definitely broke 50%. When did we break 50%? Must have been for like a split second. Do we actually need the reinforced roads? 
Uh, let, let's see if I was just screwing myself by adding these. This is a dumb level concept. It's kind of funny. It's, I mean, it's simple, to be honest, once you understand it. I think the hardest part is getting the concept. I mean, it's Monster Jam. Yeah, it's got a theme. Nice! Alright, nobody saw that. This is really simple. All you have to do is just drive without breaking the roads. Thank you. Is that too much to ask for? I was hoping the leaderboards re would, would reload. They've been really down today. Has anyone seen the leaderboards like at all? They've just been so gone. So we are on the fourth world. The final world uh, of the regular game. There's gonna be hopefully some special stuff after this, we'll see. The first one in this little set is called Edgy. So obviously it seems like we gotta get our tow truck over there on the back. The trick is there's this, um, there's a boat that's right by the exit. Or entrance, I guess. I guess it's technically both. So you have to do a really kind of weird drawbridge for this. So what you can do is a little split joint here, and then pull it back over. Something that's a little better is that we can actually do supports onto the rock. So I think I'm gonna do some rock supports. I think I'll actually have them be steel. All right, so I don't know if this is gonna work, but basically this is gonna be a little drawbridge that's just gonna pull this back so this uh, little boat can come through. Ooh. Ooh, close but not quite. Hold that thought. Hold that thought. We got a good looking bridge right now. There we go. We pulled it up real clean. And that's all it took. Just a couple rock supports. It was actually very generous of them to leave that rock there. I think that makes it way too easy. 95% joint stress. Although we had like almost half budget. Let's see how this turned out. I guess the leaderboards are broke, which is a shame. I thought I did really good on this bridge. For all I know, I got first place. So we got first fucking place. Let's, let's move on. Collision warning. The classic double jump with seven roads and it's a cross jump too. So they actually got to dodge each other How fast are these guys? All right 15 meters per second now. That's a hell of a speed So I'll have this one be pretty low and then this one's gonna go the distance a bit more Um, Actually, do I even need to commit it to a fourth road? We'll just have to be at, be at different angles like this So I think I do want to actually make this steal and simultaneously do this deal. Kind of expensive, actually. Just gonna, oh my god! Hope for the best. Nice! I missed it, though. I want to see it again. <laughs> let's, let's watch that normal speed. These, these guys easily got clearance. Like, this wasn't even close. Alright, so what do we got going on here? Two boats with a checkpoint in the middle. What the fuck? Right, so now I want to actually do a drawbridge. So, I mean, we're going to do this simple drawbridge design for now. I think I'm also going to reinforce this a lot better. We're going to go to here, actually. And then I think I will do a few actual reinforced roads. You want to see what's stressing? It's a lot of things. Oh, it's this up here. Let me actually... So, I'm going to get this, and then I'm going to also get this. So, now it's down to these. This sagging stuff is stressing a lot now. Oh, we're good though. We don't need this on. It looks so ugly with it on. That's nice. Well, we'll see if it holds up though. We'll see if it pulls far enough. Because we do have to dodge two boats. Oh, that's clean. Chat, you like that? Just a very solid drawbridge. Doing it on an angle that with a long distance is not easy. A trap door, huh? Oh, the, okay, 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 okay. Actual spring level. 